Why, hi there, I'm Ron Zuckett, and welcome to a college basketball doubleheader. The first game today will feature the Michigan State Spartans of the 1970s versus UCLA, and then around 4 o'clock this afternoon, the nightcap. It's a 1980s battle extraordinaire. The Duke Blue Devils travel to Carmichael Arena to face the North Carolina Tar Heels. Aren't we excited? So a full day of college basketball and splits as you settle in to enjoy a snowy Saturday afternoon and evening here on the American East Coast. And so, the Retro Sports Network presents College Basketball Saturday, or the return of College Basketball Saturday, from Pauley Pavilion on the campus of the University of California at Los Angeles. The UCLA Bruins host the Michigan State Spartans. UCLA comes into this game as I itch my face. Oh, and one. In Michigan, this is their first game of the year. And so I'll be coaching both the offenses. Let's meet the starting lineups. I think you know who E. Johnson is from Michigan State. That is Irvin Magic Johnson. Bob Chapman is the starting sp Gu uh, shooting guard for Michigan State. Terry Furlow is the small forward. Ralph Simpson, who is wonderful on offense, is the power forward. And Lindsey Harrison is the center. Greg Kelser is going to be your sixth man. He can play big anywhere. Small forward, Paul for uh, power forward, or center. And he's so he'll be the first one in off the bench, I'm sure. For UCLA, it's Henry Bibby at point guard. Brad Holland, the only name there I really don't recognize as shooting guard. Great from outside, though, and can run the fast break. Marquise Johnson is the small forward. 8.9 on offense. Sidney Wicks. Tremendous offensive force, especially inside, is your power forward. And Bill Walton is your center. And, of course, you know how good he is. Richard Washington, David Greenwood, and Dave Myers are pretty much your best players off the bench with Hamilton and Valley. Marquise Johnson scored 12 in the opener for UCLA. And they're lost to Kansas. So, as always, it's a pretty tough schedule no matter where you go. So we're about ready to tip. UCLA going from left to right. Urban Johnson and 6'2 Bob Chapman are the guards. Terry Furlow and Ralph Simpson the set. John Heathcote coach, coaches Michigan State. And John Wooden will coach the 70s team. The tip is up, and Harrison wins it for Michigan State. Michigan State will go from right to left. They are actually in dark green or in that Kelly Celtics green with white numbers. I don't know if they have names, but they have state and cursive across their chest with the numbers. UCLA is in white. They're going to go from left to right, blue UCLA across the front in numbers with yellow trim. Chapman will drive it from the right wing outside, goes to the hoop into Wicks, and that is a no good. But Sydney gets called for the foul, and Chapman will shoot to just nine seconds into the game. Bobbeth. 71% free throw shooter, averages 3.1 rebounds and 2.4 assists. And the first free throw of the game is up and off the rim. Second one from Chapman is up and good. So 1-0 Spartans just to start of things. 
Henry Bibby will run the floor for the Bruins, and they'll set it up inside to Marquise Johnson for their first possession of the game. Johnson in the lane, and then Magic with the steal. They go on the break. Michigan State has numbers. Magic all the way to Harrison and throws it away. And so Magic, he was all the way down in the paint and then made the pass. He should have just taken the layup. So 45 seconds into it, UCLA will bring it up. And it's going to be Sidney Wicks inside. Is the call. Bibby over to Holland. To Wicks in the paint. Off the glass and in. 2-1 to one, UCLA. Just the start of things here. Magic is going to work it inside to Harrison. Fakes around. Little jumper off the glass. No, but Wicks makes a second foul already. And so Harrison will shoot two. A 58% free throw shooter. Off the front of the rim, he bricks it. Lindsay, not as a good free th shooter from the field, but not necessarily from the free throw line, and averages about 11 and a half rebounds a game. And with two fouls, David Greenwood, the senior from the 78 79 squad, gets his first taste of. John Wooden's hand for a bit. He averages about 20 a game. Had two off the bench against Kansas. Second free throw for Harrison is around the rim and good. So it's 2-2. Michigan State's missed two of their free throw shots already. And the Bruins will walk it up. Into Greenwood is the call, Bibby. Inside to Greenwood over Simpson, and he gets a timeout. Simpson trying to do the whole ball thing. They wouldn't call the jump, and so it's a timeout UCLA. 18-22, first half, 2-2 the score. How are you doing, Beatles Eternally? You're the first one here. So first of two games today. UCLA and Michigan State from the 70s, and then Duke and Carolina about 4 o'clock from the 80s. So Greenwood inbounds it by me on the near side. No changes to any place else. And they're going to work it into the big man Walton inside. And he gets a good look and hits the jumper. 4-2 UCLA early. And so inside to Simpson is the call. Magic. Over to Simpson, down the lane, off the glass, no, but Greenwood commits the foul. And that's the third foul in the first two minutes from the power forward of UCLA. Sidney Wicks is already in foul trouble with two, with two in the first minute. So Ralph Simpson, good rebounder, excellent free throw shooter, 82%. We'll get his first to two. And it's good. Four to three the score. Second one coming from Simpson. And we're all tied up at four. So Michigan State has all four of their points from the line. And UCLA has hit two jumpers. Freezing up the rink in a snowstorm for a couple hours more. Dave, how are you? Dave's Eastern Massachusetts Roller Hockey League had their Saturday winter finals today. So congratulations. So Bibby brings it up, and pretty much everyone's open. And they want to go outside to the big man Walton. And he drives, and that draws a whistle, and he took steps. So a turnover, and it'll be Michigan State ball 4-4. 4 17-42, just the start of things. Here at Poly Pavilion. They're going to go Simpson inside again. He already drew a foul. Magic to Chapman. Over to Furlow. They bounce it around. Simpson inside. Little jumper. Yes. First field goal for Michigan State. Gives them the lead 6-4. to four. Inside to Marquise Johnson is the call. Bibby. Pick and roll over to Greenwood. He lays it off the glass and good. 
Wasn't a shot, but that's what Bibby saw, and so we're knotted up at six. Harrison inside is what Magic wants to do. In the paint, one-hander, no, and Magic gets the board. Passes it out to Chapman, and Chapman is going to take the shot from the right wing. And Holland gave him some daylight, and it gets out of bounds. But it remains Michigan State ball, 16-16, 6-6 the score. Hoping to get the championship captain on live Wednesday when Dave and I on his channel host this week on the E. That's Wednesdays at noon on Dave Garner's channel. All about hockey in Massachusetts, Eastern Massachusetts. Proud to be part of that one. All right, so Magic wants Furlow outside, and he drives in the lane. Walton goes in front of him. Shot, no. Tip back. Greenwood with the rebound, and UCLA comes back with it. This time, Bibby's going to call his own number from the top of the key. Back to Walton, however, and he missed it. Holland gets the rebound and sends it back out. UCLA sets back up. So Bibby, so both the point guards, Bibby and Johnson, have declined their own shots when they were told to shoot it. They're going to go into Marquis Johnson this time from the... From the wing, and it's a bad pass. He's trying to go for Walton again. And we got a timeout on the floor, and I haven't called basketball in too long. I'm tripping over my own words. 15 23, first half. Michigan State and UCLA, 6 2 and even. All right, talk to you later, bud. So it'll be Michigan State ball. You 15.23 to go, first half. The computer says Michigan State's favored by 26. I don't think so. So Magic, again, Judd Heathcote wants him to take shots from the perimeter, and Bibby gets in there for a foul. So that's four on the Bruins already. The Spartans have yet to commit one. So they inbound on the far side of the court again. This time it's Simpson. They're going to be a give and go to Simpson inside, I believe. Inside, the runner, no. Marquis Johnson with the rebound. They're going to give it to David Greenwood on the inside shot. That's the play. Pump fake. Lays it off the glass and good. 8-6 UCLA. 14-49 to go. Furlow outside is the call. Johnson to furlough on the wing. He takes it to the rim and Bibby gets called for a second. And so UCLA is in foul trouble early. Not only is that their fifth as a team at 14.31 to go in the first half, that's Bibby second. So Roy Hamilton, 16 points a game, decent rebounder, against Kansas in five minutes, didn't do much of anything. That stat sheet is as pristine as a baby's bottom. And so Michigan State ball, 14-31 first half. Simpson inbounds it. And again, they want to go to furlough outside the other guard forward. Simpson on the perimeter. And that draws a whistle and Marky Johnson gets called for the foul. So UCLA has drawn six fouls in the first five and a half minutes. Michigan State's loving this. Simpson again will inbound. Feed it inside to Harrison. And he hits the jumper, and that's his third point. Walton was trying not to draw the foul, and Harrison took it all the way. So 8-8 eight, eight the score. Hamilton, the point guard for UCLA. Into Walton, the low post, and Walton walks. And so that's the fourth turnover up to go with six fouls for UCLA. And so John Wooden on the right side across from me on the far side rolls up his program and starts working those officials. Everybody's open for Michigan. UCLA's afraid to do much of anything. Magic is supposed to shoot. 
Pick and roll with Furrow. Magic drives and slams it home. 10-8 Michigan. And so Magic found the opening. And with UCLA afraid to do much of anything, it's now 10-8. Hamilton will try to find Johnson outside for his shot. And he hits the jumper. So it's 10-10 on the scoreboard. This is pretty, you can't get much closer. This time it's going to be furlough for Michigan State. In the corner, he drives baseline over to Chapman from 18. No, rebound Greenwood, and UCLA will walk it up. Holland, the small guard, open jumper. No, for, furlough with the rebound, and here come the Spartans on the break. Chapman, furlough, and Harrison. Furlow to Chapman. He walks down the lane and kisses it off the glass. 12-10 Spartans. And so we got ourselves a good one here. Greenwood inside is the call. Let's see what happens. Walton over to Greenwood, and there's a whistle, and Greenwood travels. And Wooden says a few words into that rolled-up program. And I don't think they were golly G. Willikers. And so 12.31 to go. Michigan State leads by two. And so again, everyone's open. They're going to go Chapman outside, the other guard. Pick and roll with Simpson. Chapman goes down the lane, drives it in. He's got five points, and Michigan State's up 14 to 10. Greenwood inside. He's their best chance for UCLA. He hits the jump. No. But Johnson, that's Magic Johnson, or Irvin Johnson, gets called for the foul. That's the first on Michigan State. And so Greenwood's going to the line. Greenwood, 10.3 rebounds as an everyday player for UCLA. Had a point in 12 minutes, or had a rebound in 12 minutes against Kansas. He's shooting two. And the first one from Greenwood is around and no. So no changes on the bench. UCLA is Bibby and Wicks sitting in the pine with two fouls apiece. How you doing, ID? ID was doing some baseball, some status pro baseball last night. Cincinnati Reds and Philadelphia Phillies from their National League Divisional Series from 2010. And the second one from Greenwood is good. So he has five, and the lead is three. 14-11, Michigan State. 11.58 to go, first half. And there's a timeout on the floor. No changes either side. It's been the Spartans good from the floor. And UCLA has turned it over five times and committed six fouls. So that's why it's 14-11. Good. So no changes. Simpson inbounds it for Michigan State. And he takes a five-second violation. And Judd Heathcote pulls him aside and says, Listen, you throw it off someone's leg. You get it right back. So good defense there by the Bruins. And they inbound from backcourt. They're working it left to right. Holland outside is the call. Hamilton over to Holland, who drives in the right wing and lays it up and good. So one-point game again, 14-13, Michigan State. And Magic will work it to furlough outside from the left wing side. He shoots. No. Rebound Walton. UCLA has numbers. Outlet pass, Walton all the way and slams it home to give UCLA the lead. 15 to 14. So a high scoring first half. Into Harrison. That's what Johnson wants to do from Furrow. And Harrison's fouled by Walton. But now that's the seventh team foul, and Michigan State's shooting the bonus. No one's coming out for UCLA. Michigan State will sit. No, he can't. He's shooting the fouls. Harrison, front end, 58% free throw shooter. And he misses, and Marquis Johnson gets the rebound for UCLA. 
into the big boy Walton is the call. And he throws it away! Oh my goodness! Goodness sakes alive is what you hear from John Wooden as he stares down his players. Bill Kagor comes in at center. Greg Kelser comes in at power forward. And Rudy Benjamin comes in at small guard. So it's Magic, Benjamin, Furlow, Kelser, and Kilgore for Michigan State. They trail 15-14, 10-39 to go. And Benjamin wants a shot outside. He finds Furlow and throws it away. And so that's the third turnover for Michigan State. Both teams a little sloppy early. So Pat Miller comes in for Furlow. And Lloyd Ward comes in for Magic. This is Michigan State's opening game in the replay. UC Layton lost to Kansas. So Hamilton walks it across. Doesn't like what he sees. They'll pass it around. Now Holland will try the outside jumper from the right. Open, yes. And he's fouled by Kilgore after a dazzling pass from Hamilton to set that up. So it was one of those slam-bam passes, set the feet, take the jumper, and get fouled. So it's 17-14 in Holland. An 81% free throw shooter will shoot one. And he hits it. So he has five. He and Greenwood, the leading score, is for UCLA. 18-14 Bruins, first half. 10.04 to go. Ward will walk it up. They're going to try to feed it into Kelser and close. They turn around, jumper off the glass. No, Greenwood with the defense and Johnson with the rebound. Again, Holland outside is the play call. He drives in the, from the perimeter. No call. And the jumper and the finger roll is good. Benjamin found a seat on the floor. And there was no call. So 20-14. UCLA up by six. They're going to work it into Kilgore, the center, in the paint. And he's fouled by Greenwood. And so it's a one and one. Richard Washington comes in for Greenwood. John Vallely will come in for Holland. And Dave Myers for Marquise Johnson. And why did I lose my other center? So Richard Washington goes in for at center. Jamal Wilkes as power forward. Dave Myers as small forward. Malele in as the shooting guard. So four changes for UCLA. And remember, now Greenwood, Bibby, and Wicks all have two fouls. All right, so I.D. Jester's going to do game two of the playoffs today later on. So it'll be Kilgore for two for a one and one. And the front end of that is off the rim. Rebound Myers for UCLA. And the play will be Myers outside. UCLA on 10 0 run. Benjamin, however, gets into the steal. And the Spartans will run the fast break. Kelser to Benjamin off the glass for twos. 20 to 16, 852 to go. They're gonna work it. Inside to Washington for UCLA. Hamilton, pick and roll. Washington, turn around jumper in the paint, you betcha. 22-16, UCLA by six, 8.34 to go. Ward, 
Once Kelser inside, there's a whistle, and Wilkes commits the foul. And so Kelser has the one on one. They're not the double bonus yet. Spartans say we can put our starters back in. They're not going to quite yet. Kelser, average 50% from the field, 66.8% from the line. A good rebounder, over 10 a game. Front end of the 1-1 one one is out. Rebound Washington. So Michigan State only 4 of 9 from the line. And Washington will get this one inside from Hamilton. Short little roar. Yes, that's good. 24-16, UCLA up by 8. Michigan State wants Kilgore inside. Ward to Benjamin. Over to Benjamin with the shot. The guard, no foul, no call, and no good. It'll be Hamilton, and UCLA will walk it up. 740. Wilkes inside is the call. Kelser delivers. Wilkes lays it off. No. Rebound Benjamin. Fast break for the Spartans. Or they'll pass it up. It was three on four, and so Ward is smart enough to say, let's set this up. Kilgore backs inside the key, and he's fouled by Washington. And now they're in the double bonus. It's two shots the rest of the first half. Ten fouls by UCLA. And again, John Wooden says, what are you doing? Kilgore's first is no good. He is a 56% free throw shooter. And the second one on the way, bends the elbows, and good. So it's 24-17. The Spartans now 5 of 11 from the line. Hamilton will lock it up. But first, we have a timeout on the floor. 7-14 first half. It's UCLA by 7, 24-17. So, let's see what we're doing here. I'm going to let the benches sit for a couple more minutes. Wilkes will inbound right by me, and he finds Myers. Inside, off the left wing, Hamilton over to Myers. It's a mismatch, double pumps from right underneath the basket. Kelser gets the rebound. Off the rim and no. Michigan State wants Kilgore inside. Kelser... Wobble well, Kilgore, and that's off the glass and in. So 24-19 now. Michigan State trails by five. UCLA wants to work it inside to Washington. With a little jumper misses, Kelser and Valley get it, trying to fight for it, and Valley rips it up. They pass it around, and UCLA will set it back up. No, turnaround jumper instead by Valley. But lately it hits, so it's 26-19. John Wooden and his team, even though they're up by seven, are going to have some words at the half. They've not played what he wanted them to do. Michigan State will pass it around. Ward, defended by Hamilton. Jumper, good! Off-balance jumper from the top of the circle, and Ward is on the score sheet. 26-21, 6-11 left. Wilkes outside. From the baseline, double teamed, and it's a steal by Benjamin. Got his hand in there. Knocks it away. Fast break for Michigan State. Benjamin stolen by Valley, and they'll lock it back up. So the turnover is 8-4 in favor of the wrong way for UCLA. Hamilton. Outside jumper over to Myers. Pardon me. He hits the jumper. And so Hamilton has five assists off the bench for Bibby, and it's 28-21 UCLA. Ward will work it into Kelser. Post up and slams it home. 28-23, Kelser's on the board with two. Vallely outside is the preferred call. Myers to Vallely, and he loses it out of bounds. It's a bad pass by Myers. 4.57 to go. And let's see. So, so Holland, Marquise Johnson, and Bill Walton come back in. Jamal Wilkes will stay on the floor. And Andre McCarter comes in to play point. As Bibby and Wicks sit with two fouls. 
for Michigan State. Starting five on the floor. Magic and Chapman in the backcourt. Furlow, Simpson, and Harrison at center. So 28-23. Michigan State trails by five. They have the ball. 4.57 left first half. And pretty much everyone's open. Bruins have 10 team fouls. So any foul is two shots for Michigan State. Meanwhile, the Spartans have committed just two in the entire half. So UCLA isn't shooting for a while unless it's in the act. Furlough outside from the right wing. Jumper. Yes, that's good. So Magic back on the floor gets a second assist. This time it's going to be Marquise Johnson inside. He's defended by Furlough. Not a great defender. A little point blank jumper. And it's good. And Magic commits the foul. So that's two. And so Johnson fouls Johnson. And Mike Robinson, who's not the world's best passer, will come in and Magic's done pretty much for the half. So two points, two fouls, two assists. 30-25, Bruins lead. And Marquise Johnson is a 62% free throw shooter. Good shooter from the field. He's got four points and three boards so far tonight. And that first one is, or it's good. So it's now 31-25 as he makes the old-fashioned three. 409 to go. It's Robinson on the floor for Michigan State. And he will find Harrison in, inside. That's at least the call. Robinson to Harrison at the basket. Walton covering. Harrison turns around and drains it. 31-27. That's five for Harrison. Bruins by four. 346 to go. They're going to feed Walton inside. That's the plan. McCarter to Holland to Walton inside. And it's knocked off a hand and it remains UCLA basketball. Three and a half to go. No changes and no timeout. I'm surprised. So Walton can shoot outside. He shoots from the right baseline, and he hits the jumper. He's got six. 33-27, UCLA. 3.23 to go. If they're going to try furlough. The forward outside. Baseline drives over to Simpson. Jumper, no. Rebound, Marquis Johnson. And again, they want Walton outside. Wilkes. He'll take it himself and miss it. Gets the rebound right to Walton. And Harrison commits the foul for Michigan State. And so it'll be UCLA ball, 250 left. So no changes. And no timeout. They're going to go into the big band Walton. That's the plan. He hits the jump, shoots the jumper and misses. Robinson gets the rebound. Michigan State will walk it up. And everybody's open. So Furlough, the forward, is going to try a three. Chapman over to Simpson, over to Robinson. They pass it around. Furlough for a three. And he hits it. One of the rare cases of a non-three-point team actually trying and hitting one. And it's now a three-point game. 33-30. 2.05 to go. They want Wilkes inside. He's on the left by the basket. To McCarter instead. Now Wilkes has it over Simpson. One-hander. No. Chapman with a rebound. They're going to try to feed Simpson inside. In the low post over to Furlow. That was good. A Wheel of Fortune type play. Furlow foul line extended right. Hit the 15-footer. And it's now a one-point game. What a run by the Spartans. 33-32. Minute 25 left. First half. They're going to work it to Walton inside. McCarter takes the jumper from 15 himself. Nope. Furlow with the rebound. Last minute of play here in the half. Thirty-three, thirty-two, fifty-seven seconds left. Furl is going to try another three, and it's a deep one. It's hard off the rim. Simpson has it. Tries the little runner. No, Walton got a piece of it. Walton gets the break. They start the fast break. Walton baseball pass to McCarter in the lane off the glass and in. That was big. Twenty-eight seconds left. 
35-32, UCLA leads by three. And again, everyone's open for Michigan State. Last shot here. Shot clock is off. And they're going to work it for Simpson inside. That's the plan. Up against Wilkes. Little runner at the buzzer. Yes, sir. So it's 35-34 as we head to the half. UCLA by one. This is College Basketball on Retro Sports Network. And so now UCLA gets some of their better players back. They're going to get Bibby back with two fouls, and they're going to get Wilkes back, who sat most of the first half. He only played a minute 21. So Holland is 7 for UCLA, and Furlow is 7 for Michigan State. So a close one all the way around. UCLA is led by eight. Michigan State is led by four. And we've had five lead changes and five ties. And so just for a moment, I know no one's really watching this live, but if you're watching this later on tape, this is our football season's over. Congratulations to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They won our pro football championship by the score of 21-20. You can go watch the live, the live version chunked up into a couple parts or the whole taped one, just like one of those old VHS games, you know, kind of all blurry and everything. We got our baseball replay going on for 1982. And, yes, I did fix the pictures thanks to PC Ballpark. They did have the 82 photo pack. So if George Hendrick is still in the... Uh, in Cleveland Indians uniform, that's their fault. I've switched out all the, all the pictures. And so now I want to know, and I'll do this in the second game later today, what it is you want to see on the channel. Do you want to see some what-if football games? Do you want to see some NBA action? Dave Little, by the way, is doing some NBA action, and he's very good at it. He's doing the 1969-70 season, I think, uh, using action PC baseball. Uh, we've got some options. We could do some golf. We could do some hockey. We could do some tennis. Uh, horse racing we can do some of, too. So let me know in the comments now that football season's over. And baseball games are pretty routine. They'll take up Tuesdays and Thursdays at lunch, Wednesdays at night. But what else do you want to see on this channel? We do this stuff because you enjoy it. And so you're part of it. So let us know what you want to see right here on Retro Sports Network. Okay. Back for the second half. I'm going to take a drink. Okay, so Beatles, you're not invisible. I but I didn't I knew there was one viewer there and so I just put it on the on my streaming thing. So what would you like to see more of Beatles? I'm going to take a drink and a chip. Mm. I got takeout from Moe's last night, and I love their chips. So the starting five are back on the floor. Michigan was going to make some changes, and I didn't let Michigan State. They're only down one, and I didn't see the need to do any wholesale changes there. So it's Johnson and Chapman in the backcourt. Furlow and Simpson up front with Harrison as the center. The, only, the starters committed a, a grand total of three fouls in the first half. Magic has two fouls um, and only two points. But Furlow is seven for UCLA. Starting five all the way. Henry, Bibby. There is like three legitimate NBA Hall of Famers in the starting lineup. Henry Bibby, point guard. Holland, the shooting guard. He has seven. He's really going to score. Marquise Johnson. Sidney Wicks, who's the only one that really is. Was NBA All-Star. 2,002 points. And Bill Walton with six points in the first half. So we'll have a fresh tip here in a second. Boxing, I, you know, I try to leave a lot of the boxing to Al. I did a fight on Boxing Day. I don't know if you saw that. 
and uh, I enjoyed it. But I know that we all do all sorts of sports, but Al is so good at boxing. We might do some more of that, and I will do some horse racing. It would probably be a cards and dice Sunday version of it. Um, you know, the interesting thing about that, Beatles, is that you should never take longer to play an event than it would take in real life. And it's just because horse racing is so short, you're, you know you're going to take more than two minutes. Look okay, at we'll get the horse racing thing sold out. Tip coming between Walton and Harrison to start the second half. And it will be Walton for UCLA. They lead by one, 19.58 to go. Walton. One of the few centers that can shoot outside. Baseline right side. Jumper is good. Bibby with the assist, and Walton has a 37-34. Just the start of the second half. This time Chapman wants a three. Magic over right to the right side. Chapman, and Walton blocked it. Wilkes got the rebound. So Heathcote doesn't want any more of that. Bibby will bring it up. Bibby says, Wicks inside. And Magic Johnson got a hand on it and steals it. Here comes the Spartans on the break. Johnson all the way and he walked with it. He got a little too exuberant and he bunny hops his way back on the defense. Heathcote tries to plead his case and the officials are having none of that. And so UCLA working it left to right will have it. Bibby again wants Wicks the power forward inside. This time to Walton. Over to Wicks. Little jumper. Yes, that's good. And Chapman fouled him. So there was contact on the shot and they got the continuation. And so Polly Pavilion is rocking now. And yes, horse racing is the sport of kings. So Wicks to the line for one. He's only played two minutes. On the real year, whatever season they picked him in, Pick for him. 13 rebounds a night almost. And his shot is good. He has five and the lead is six for UCLA. 40-34. Michigan State from right to left. Furlow wants the three. Heathcote says no. They pass it around. Harrison with Walton in front. Goes into the paint, lifts the hand, lays it up. No, rebound furlow, and he'll pass it back out, and Michigan State will set it up with a fresh clock. They want furlow outside. He goes from the left wing. Jumper, no. Rebound Walton, and UCLA will walk it up. 18.09 to go in regulation time. Marquise Johnson is open. Foul line extended left. And Henry Bibby's hurt. He's got a finger injury, and he says he's okay. So, again, they'll work it to Wicks from the baseline left. Little runner, no. Chapman gets the board for Michigan State. And Magic will walk it across. 17.57 to go. They're going to dump it into Harrison inside. Walton's guarding him. Well off, though, over to Chapman. Chapman with the jumper from the right side, no. Wicks with the rebound. And transition for UCLA. The Bruins. Holland down the lane off the glass and in. Holland's got nine. 42-34. Michigan State the other way with Simpson. Johnson looking to pass inside to Simpson. After deflected a couple times. In fact, the ball is kicked by Simpson, and it's now UCLA basketball. 17-24, second half, 42-34. Bruins. And Bibby says, I'm going to take the three. Bibby from three, from the top of the key. Good! He nailed it. 45-34, and John Wooden just keeps the eye on him. Michigan State inside to Simpson. Johnson, screen and roll. Simpson, low post. Yes, sir. And Holland commits the foul. That's his first. And so Simpson can get that three back the old-fashioned way from the free throw line. So two and a foul. 
Ralph Simpson, 18 minutes today, 8 points. A rebound and an assist. And an 82% free throw shooter. And he hits it. He's got 9. Leading score for the Spartans, 45-37, UCLA. Bibby walks it across. And the call his own number from outside, from the top of the key. Instead, Walton back out to Bibby, and he hit the jumper. He found Walton, Walton the paint, paint. Bibby moved to his left to the far side and had the open shot. Ten-point lead for the Bruins, 47-37. Magic, this time, is going to call his own number. Nope, yep, post outside. He drives, and Bibby with the steal in the paint. They'll walk it up. No need to have the break. Bibby drives himself over to Walton in the corner. No out of bounds. So Bibby just kind of improvised the play. Found Walton in the near side corner and couldn't do anything with it. So out of bounds, off the glass, Michigan State ball. And so UCLA playing awful. A lot of the on defense, they had 10 first half fouls, just one here in the first four minutes and change of the second. Furlough will try one from the foul line, extended left. Off the iron, no. Marquis Johnson with the rebound. And he'll pass it around. No reason to hurry at this point. Johnson will pass it again. This time the clock's down to 19. Wicks. Will try a long jumper from the left side. And no, off the glass. Rebound battle. There's Harrison. Has it for Michigan, the center. Michigan State, they run the break. Four on four. Harrison to Chapman. And Bibby commits his third. And Roy Hamilton comes back in off the bench. So it's a 10 point lead. 14.46 to go, and that's the third on Bibby, and so he'll sit with five points, two assists, and three, re three fouls. Rebounds all UCLA, 18-11, but the big boy, Walton, has four. So Simpson, to a bound by the far side bench, has everyone open. They're going to want furlough outside. Cross-court pass. Furlough. Long jumper is good. Foul line extended left about 14 feet. And swish. 47-39. UCLA by 8. Play is to get it to Walton inside. Hamilton dishes to Walton from the paint. Harrison got a piece of it. And Magic gets the board. And the Spartans there have numbers. Magic. Pull-up jumper, no, but Walton is fouled. Walton makes the foul, and he really gets in the ref's face. Oh, he called him a Republican, and for Walton, that's about as much of an insult as you possibly can have. And so they back him away, and Wooden brings him over and says, he's up, big boy, it's okay. We need you. You can't get thrown out, and there's nothing wrong with being a Republican. So Magic goes to the line for the first time today. He is an 84% free throw shooter. Remember, this is Michigan State's first game of the year. He hits the first. 47-40 UCLA leads. UCLA, UCLA lost to Kansas. They're 0-1 in the 70s division. Irvin with the second one, and that's good. So he hits them both, and it's a six-point game, 47-41. How you doing, Dave Little? Second half, <coughs> and a timeout on the floor. From Poly Pavilion, 14-15 to go in the game. It's UCLA 47, Michigan State 41. This is College Basketball Saturday on Retro Sports Network. <laughs> it would fit for Bill, wouldn't it? Now, Dave, are you doing 69-70 or 70-71? So I can make sure that I get that right. And that was a fun broadcast.
All right. Some coffee in me. 7071. Okay. I wasn't sure. So, timeout on the floor. 14 15 to go. UCLA basketball. Marquise Johnson right by me. By the way, if you, if you haven't subscribed to Dave Little's channel, you should. He had the camera on him while he called the game. And since he had the headset on and everything, it looked like it was booth cam. And that was awesome. To watch him do that. You could just, you know, I do it too, not the booth cam, but lean in during plays and all that. Yeah, that was just awesome. Oh, it's Maravich's rookie season. Okay. Pistol Pete from Louisiana State and, of course, Atlanta. And Marquise Johnson draws the iron back to the game here of Wooden because he couldn't get the ball inbounded. Gracious sakes alive, you hear from the other side of the bench. Throw it off a knee. And then Johnson apologizes. And so Michigan State, working right to left, will bring it in. Magic. Going to dump it into Harrison here. 14-15 to go. Fantastic pass. Little runner is good. Harrison's got seven. And it's now a four-point game again. 47-43. Hamilton will find Sidney Wicks on the left side. Pick and roll. Wicks goes in the baseline. Simpson fell for the Spartans, and Wicks just lays it up and in. He's got seven, and the lead is now six, 49-43. Yep, I can see that. Steve Tower is a good one to emulate, too. So Furlow wants a three from right by me. Shoots the tray. No, that was in and out, and Chapman tips it in for the board. 49-45. So Chapman waited for it to come out of the cylinder and just tapped it back in. UCLA by four, 13-25. Walton outside, near side of the court. He works the baseline and throws it away. And that's the 13th turnover for UCLA. That was not intentional. I'm, I'm not a poet, and I do know it. So that, so despite everything, 13 to 6 on the turnover rate and 13 to 5 on the fouls, UCLA still leads by 4. No changes yet. Magic. Once Harrison inside, Walton's not playing good defense. Pick and roll. Harrison. No, Walton feels it. As I say, he's playing loose on him. He reached in and slapped it away. Hands it over to Hamilton, and UCLA will walk it up. 12.40 to go. This time it's Marquise Johnson from foul line extended left over to Furlow. Johnson drives baseline and buries it. He's posting up on Furlow. He sh shaked and big, sh showed and went. 51.45. Keith Galt wants Magic to take a number, his own number. Johnson, top of the key, jumper, no, but it goes out of bounds and UCLA ball. So 12.08 to go, 51-45, Bruins by six. Hamilton calls out the offense. Holland wants a three. We're going to go outside to Walton instead. Walton, right side, and he, is, and he travels. And so there's a timeout, but John or John Wooden's getting hot under the collar over there. The minister has, doesn't swear, but there's been a few, my goodnesses, and gracious sakes alive, and Sam Hills, and all that. And so with 11.51 to go in the game, it's UCLA 51, Michigan State 45. How you doing, Brad, Diddy, too? A reminder, we're with you at around 4 o'clock for the nightcap of our college basketball Saturday doubleheader. We go to the back to the 80s for Duke and Carolina from Carmichael Arena on Chapel Hill. We don't do the Dean Dome until we actually have to. So no changes either way. Simpson inbounds it for Michigan State. Again, Heath Colt wants magic from the top of the key. Johnson's there. About Simpson for a three. No. Walton with the rebound. 
UCLA has numbers. Over to Johnson from Holland. Johnson off the glass, and Marquis has nine in the game. 53-45. Simpson inside is the call from Heathcote. Johnson to Chapman. Over to Johnson. He drives himself. Passes to Simpson. All sorts of passing. Simpson under the hoop. No. Rebound Johnson. And slapped loose by Hamilton. So it was magic with the rebound. But he didn't take care of it. And Hamilton steals it right back from UCLA. They want the big boy Walton outside. 15, he drives in, collides with Simpson, and it's fouled by Ralph Simpson. So Walton goes to the line for two. That's only the second team foul on the Spartans. And the big man is a 70% free throw shooter. He is eight with five boards, two assists, and two fouls. And he'll be sitting in a minute. First from Bill is around the end. He has got nine now. Michigan State will make their subs. Benjamin, Rudy Benjamin in at the shooting guard. Kelser the power forward. Bill Kagori is the center. Pat Miller and Lloyd Ward. So it's a fresh five for Michigan State. UCLA will wait. Walton dips the knees, hits the second, 55-45, UCLA leads by 10, 10.39 to go. And so the Michigan State bench, Ward will try to find Kilgore inside, guarded by Walton, little runner is good, and that's the first Michigan State basket in about three and a half minutes, 55-47. UCLA will run some clock. Marquis Johnson has it now outside. He's going to try to drive one. Foul line extended left. Drives to the basket. Lays it off the glass and good. He's got 11. And Ward committed the foul. Hamilton set that up with a beautiful pass. And Johnson just kind of ran through there like a running back. So Johnson gets a third shot here. Or a chance for the three. And UCLA will start bringing in some bench. Bibby comes back in with three fouls. Vallely, Greenwood, and Richard Washington. Johnson is a 62% free throw shooter. 57-47 Bruins, and he hit it rather easily. 58-47 marches their biggest lead of the game at 11. Ward. Passes it around. They don't like what they see. Good defense here by UCLA. They pass. Now Miller is inside. Foul line extended left. He runs it into the paint. He's going to try to shoot off the glass and go. That's his first two, 58-49 UCLA. Going to be Greenwood inside. That's the call. Bibby passes it into Greenwood in traffic. Little jumper. Yes, sir. And Ward commits the foul. And so Michigan State is being a little too grab happy. And they're now at four fouls, but they're starting to count because they usually come after two points. So Greenwood, an 81% free throw shooter. This is to give UCLA their biggest lead of the game. They do. That's eight for Greenwood. The Bruins are eight of nine from the line, and UCLA leads 61-49. There is a shot clock, and I want to explain that for a sec. Um, this is a league created by Zep317 from the the um, Action PC board created with someone else. And there are teams from the 60s all the way through the end of the two, or there's actually a couple teams from this decade here. And so I tried to find unified rules that would work. That would give something from everybody. So there is a shot clock. There actually is a three-point shot because a lot of these teams, not in the 60s and 70s, of course, played with it. But once you get in the 80s, they certainly started to with a shot clock. And so there's jumps at the start of each half. Uh, I th what's the other one I did? And there's, and there's jump ball. There's no possession arrow. 
but trying to merge 50 years of rules and basketball into one that works for everybody. I'm just not going to change the rules every other time, and they actually got a schedule to work. And if you've ever played with the schedule generator from any action PC sport, you are better off doing the taxes of your local bookie, okay? Because it is that bad. So just take it as what it is. And so there is a shot clock. I don't find the scoring is absolutely incredibly high, though. So halfway home here in the second half. Ward brings it across. And they're going to work for Kilgore inside. Benjamin to Kelser in the middle. Jumper, no. Greenwood with the defense, and Bibby gets the rebound. So they'll walk it up. Nine minutes to go. In for Greenwood. Bibby. Greenwood inside. Kelser defends. Greenwood jumper over Kelser. You got it. 63-49. Greenwood is 10. The Bruins lead by 14. They're going to try Miller inside. The small forward. Benjamin. Miller down low. And Johnson makes the steal. And again. UCLA doesn't want need to run the break. Bibby walks it up. For Laley outside is the call. For Laley, left side. And Kelser knocks it away. He tried to find Greenwood, but Kelser t telegraphed that pass. And they don't run the break, which is kind of a surprise. Ward in the front court. Michigan State is ready to come back into their starters. Kelser outside. Foul line extended left. Jumper, no. Greenwood got a piece of it. Vallely with the rebound. And they have numbers. Three on two. Vallely to Washington. To Greenwood. Stops, pops, does not drop. Miller has it. And hands it to Ward. 8-10 to go. Ward walks it up. Into Kilgore is the try here. Benjamin to Kilgore. Washington defends, and Kilgore says, no, nope, I'm shooting. 63-51. He now has seven. They're going to try to feed Washington inside. Bibby, pick and roll to Washington. Little runner, yes. He's got six, and UCLA's up 14. 65-51. The good, bad, and the ugly. You mean one of my streams. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, so 65-51, UCLA by 14. Benjamin outside from Ward is the call. He passes it to Benjamin. Benjamin tries to drive and is called for pushing off. Timeout on the floor, 7-17 to go, and this one is pretty much all UCLA, 65-51. So Steiners are in for Michigan State. And Dave Myers comes in for Marquise Johnson. But it's Steiners now for UCLA. And so Myers will inbound it for the Bruins. And they're going to try to find Wicks inside. That's the plan. Wicks in the paint, lays it up and in. He's got nine. Remember, Wicks missed most of the first half and with foul trouble. So he has nine points in 12 minutes. 67-51 UCLA. Furlow outside is the call from Simpson to Furlow in the corner. Jumper, no. Rebound being fought for. And Walton has it. That's six for the big boy. He just out-muscled Simpson for it. Hands it to Bibby, and UCLA will walk it across. Going to go Walton inside is the plan. Bibby, fantastic pass to Walton. Lit it right off the glass and in. 69-51. So this early game of the doubleheader is now all UCLA. They lead by 18. And Chapman is going to try a three. Magic will try to find Chapman in the corner. Tries it and hits it. 
So Michigan State has tried six three-pointers. They've made two, which is pretty good since they're not supposed to make any. 69-54. Myers inside is the plan. Foul line extended left. In off the backboard and good. Had some position in the lane and used the glass to make it work. 71-54, under six to go. Furlow will try one. Foul line extended left. Jumper, yes, he's got 11. But they got to do something better. UCLA shooting nearly 69% from the floor. And that's one of the big differences in the game. In fact, that's probably the biggest difference. They're passing around the ball better. They have 18 assists to 12. And they're, and they're just making Michigan State pay. Walton wants one set up outside. Foul. Bibby's fouled by Harrison. So that's five on Michigan State. And with 39 on the clock, 528 in the game. Myers will inbound it by me. Marquise Johnson's ready to come back in. And he will might as well come in now. So he'll inbound right by me, and they're gonna look for Wicks inside. That's the plan. Harrison tips it away, but right to Wicks, who tries to jump her. And there's a goaltend. Harrison got a hand up above the cylinder with the ball there. And right now, there's just nothing going Michigan State's way. 73-56. All right, Mark. It should be a better game at four. That's right. I bet his sister's name was Ann, Dave. Is that right? Is this the future Mrs. Drysdale we're talking about? You know, him and Reggie Miller probably could have some good conversations about being good basketball, you know, some of the best basketball players in the world and being outplayed by their sisters. Nothing wrong with that. Furlow. Let's see what the play is. Their magic's going to try his own shot. Yeah, I figured as much. So Magic, top of the key, moving on the wing, pick and roll with Simpson, bounces it to Simpson, Walton gets the tip, but he hit with the ball was in the cylinder. So it's a goaltend on Walton, 73-58. Michigan State can try to make a run here. Anthony, oh yeah. How you doing, Al? Yeah, there's probably a bunch of, of brothers there that can make that. That would be a pretty good team. So Bibby will bring it up. Under five to go now. Marky Johnson inside is the plan. Foul line extended to left. Bibby to Holland. Back to Bibby. And they'll pass it around. Johnson in the paint. Steal by Chapman. Now Michigan State starting to show some life. But no break. They'll walk it up. Magic. Into Simpson. Simpson. Left side. Underneath the basket. Hits it. The little jumper. That's 13. 73 60. 428 to go. And now they'll use some clock. Bibby, top of the circle, will try the jumper. And that's a double dribble. He turns it over. And so timeout on the floor. 4.07 to go in regulation in game one. UCLA 73, Michigan State 60. How much are you supposed to get down there, Mr. L? The last time I looked, and that was about 10 o'clock this morning here, they're calling from 12 to 18 inches in Burlington, Vermont. With the National Weather Service pretty confident that we would get 13 of that. And so Simpson inbounds it, and it's knocked out of bounds. See, now that's what you do. He was going to get the five count, threw it off an ankle. You know, Bill's ankles are so big, they're just pretty easy to find. And he nailed it out of bounds, so Michigan State will get another chance to abound it. So no changes. It's all starters anyway. Simpson finally gets it in. And no, we're not going to try him for the three. They want Harrison inside against Walton. Harrison down low and Wicks with a steal. And they hand it to Bibby, and we're going to walk it up. Bibby into the front court. You're going to find Marquise Johnson, foul line extended left. Paints it inside, Harrison gets the steal. But again, they don't run the break. 
So they'll walk it up. Johnson dribbles in the front court. Doesn't like what he sees. Now Simpson outside about 12 feet. Between the foul line and the baseline left. Little jumper. Nope. And Magic is hurt. Magic's pointing to his shoulder. He's going to stay in the game. They're going to set this back up. Simpson now runs in the paint from the baseline. Little runner. No. Rebound. Controlled by Simpson. Second effort. Yes. No. Off the iron. No. Magic comes out with it. They'll pass it out and send it back up again. So Michigan had three shots at that and can't do it. This time they're going to try to feed Harrison inside. Magic. Zip pass to Harrison. Good look. Off the rim. No. Walton with the seventh and UCLA in no hurry. 2.51 to go. Bibby to Walton. Now Bibby. Pick and roll with Johnson. Bibby drives over to Wicks. Little runner. Yes. 75-60. 2.36 to go. And so UCLA will go to 1-1 one and one in this league after this. Michigan State opens the year with a loss. A bad loss. Magic for furlough. Outside, little jumper from the key. No, Johnson and Chapman fight him. Marquis has it. And over to Bibby. So that's six for Johnson. 24 to 18 on the rebound count. 75-60, UCLA, Bibby. Going to feed Walton outside from the right. Works the baseline. Chapman defends. Walton around the rim and no. Rebound by Witz. UCLA will pass it around. 2.04 to go. And they'll go very slow. Now Bibby. Bibby, top of the key. Will drive. 149 to go outside. He drives. And Bibby's called for his fourth. He made contact, and I believe it was Furlow that smashed his hips down on the floor. The, the moppers are there to get the sweat off. And with 138, I believe we're going to see some... Benches emptied in a good way. So the starters are done. It was not a great effort by Michigan State. And so with 98 seconds to go, let's see, about a foot with sleet and freezing rain, Joy. Four inches in Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. You know, I love it when they plow. You know, I'm now stuck inside for a good week or so because when they plow the sidewalks, they leave everything in the crosswalks, which will freeze and refreeze. And you, it just turns to ice up here. And so you can drive around the same block over and over again. It just makes walking, which I'm sure down in your neck of the woods, L, is how you get around at least the downtown area, uh, just an absolute pain in the butt. So the benches are emptied in a good way. Ward will take it in the front court. A minute 29 left. Kelser at center. They're going to work into him over Washington. Ward. Kelser post up, in, off the rim, till Gore with the rebound. Second chance for him, lays it off the glass and in. He's got nine, and it's a 13 point lead. So Hamilton will lock it up. Going to work it inside to Washington by the basket. That draws a whistle. Kelser gets called for the foul. Six on Michigan State here in the half. UCLA will shoot. The bonus on the next one. A minute eight to go in the game. And so the Bruins lead by 13. Greenwood inbounds. They're going to go for Myers inside. And Myers up against Miller. A little jumper good. So under a minute to go. 77-62 UCLA. Pretty much from the first TV timeout all the way through. It's been UCLA. Ward to kill Gorey. Over to Ward. He can't make the play. Tries to pick and roll. Ward over to Miller. And that was just an absolute Google cluster of a play. 
They never even set up for the shot. They got it in. No one's playing a press this way, this late. And Michigan State just kind of beat themselves there. So no changes, and they will, with 34 seconds, they're holding for the last shot. And Myers brother will get it. Hamilton to Myers in the post. A little jumper at the buzzer. You betcha. So the final score here, and this has been a very one-sided game, as you can see. Well, the half was actually quite good. But the second half was not. 79-62. UCLA outscored Michigan State 44-28. to And so our player of the game is going to be actually Sidney Wicks. 13 points, 3 rebounds. And 6 of 8 from the floor, and he only really played the second half. So Magic pretty much neutered. 6 re six assists, though, but did not really play a good game. The player of the game, or Chevy player of the game for Michigan State is Chapman. He had 10 points and 4 rebounds. All right, so that's the opener for you here this afternoon in about 2.5 hours at 4 o'clock. From Carmichael Arena at the University of North Carolina. It's the 80s Duke Blue Devils and North Carolina Tar Heels. Michael Jordan's college basketball debut on Retro Sports Network. We hope that you will join us for that. Bubba, good to see you. And so, 4 o'clock for Game 2. Until then, we'll talk to you later.